Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Hello, welcome to this short presentation on the anatomy of probes. There are two main types of probes, native and non-native. Native probes are built for a specific platform. They run as a single process. Non-native probes run a specific non-native Java process and a platform-specific native process called the non-native probe. The probes themselves have a number of features that improve performance. Single-headed probes process events serially from a serial event source. Single-threaded probes process events serially from a single event queue. Multi-headed probes read events from a number of event sources. Multi-threaded probes can process events on one or more threads which improves processing speed when multiple CPUs are available. Single-headed, single-threaded probes read events from a single head and process these events serially. Single-headed, multi-threaded probes read events from a single head but process these events in parallel using multiple threads. Multi-headed, single-threaded probes read events from multiple heads and place these events on an event queue for event processing by a single thread. Multi-headed, multi-threaded probes read events from multiple heads and process these events in parallel. This can improve the probe's performance significantly where one or more of the heads read significantly more events than the others. The probes are made up of common features and probe-specific features. Events are read in from one or more heads, processed using rules files and lookups, and sent to one or more object servers. The Netcall Omnibus core features provide common behavior between the probes. These features are based on event processing and object server connectivity. The main configuration files are the probe's property file, used to set the probe's specific and common features, the probe rules files, which define how the dollar tokens are converted to the object server at tokens, the lookup files, which allow one or more fixed fields to be defined through a single field lookup. There are three main common log files. The stream capture file, which captures the raw streaming data seen at the probe's heads. It is only available on some of the probes. This file can be replayed using netcat. The raw capture file, which captures the dollar and at tokens on initialization. This file can be replayed using the standard input probe. The probe's log file, which can log probe processing details at various login levels. The netcall omnibus common feature files allow features such as process locking and store and forward. The probe's def file holds the field seen in the object servers that the probe connects to and is auto-generated. The socket probe is a good example of a native probe. The socket probe is a multi-headed single-threaded probe. Its features include the login of the TCP IP data into a raw stream capture file. This allows the socket probe to be used when replicating events or examining event processing. The Tivoli IF probe is an example of a non-native probe. These are Java-based probes that use the native NCO underscore P underscore non-native binary. The Tivoli underscore EIF dot jar handles support and passing of the EIF events using the Java EIF API. The EIF API includes additional login and the stream capture login is available as well to assist further troubleshooting. The non-native probe uses the common features and rules file processing. Because the object server features are common to the non-native probes, it makes them easier to configure and debug. Another example of a non-native probe is the generic TMF814 Corba probe. The Corba probes use a common set of Java APIs that are provided as supporting packages. As well as collecting data from the Corba server, the probe starts a local service whose port can be defined using the orb local port. This is required to be defined when connecting through firewalls. The non-native part of the probe manages the resynchronization and notification events, placing them on the probe's event queue ready for the non-native probe to process. The object server features are the same as the Tivoli EIF probe and other non-native probes, making it easier to configure and debug. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.